Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. On this episode today, I'm going to show you a watch which I'm quickly falling in love with a lot. It is the analog version of the G-Shock Frogman in an awesome carbon model. Let's go take a look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a while. I've been on the road. I was in uh, Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan. Um, I had a trip to Japan, which is where I picked up this particular watch, but just didn't really have a lot of time to kind of sit down and, and collect the thoughts about uh, this particular watch. I've been wearing it for a while. I took it with me to Korea, to Hong Kong, to Taiwan recently. And I got to tell you, I really, really love this watch. This is this is it. This is the the Frogman. A bit hard to get the focus in. We'll get a better look at it later. But uh, this is a watch that I picked up in Japan for around about a thousand dollars. Now, when I was in Japan, there were signs up all over the place saying that this particular watch uh, is only available in Japan. Now, I don't think that's entirely true. I think you can buy it in other places as well. But I hadn't necessarily seen it outside of Japan. I'd seen many of the other Frogmans that have been around. Like if we switch over to some of these different Frogmans, um, you'll quite often see these blue ones. Uh, these red ones are coming in just recently, which are kind of nice. Um, but haven't really seen this one before. Now, of course, this is on the website. It says it's an older model. I was shocked at the price. The price there is about $1,989 Sing. And I got this for around about a thousand dollars when i went ahead and actually purchased it now of course shopping in japan uh you're obviously in japan where g-shocks come from you get them from places like big camera where they have pretty significant discounts because they can buy in bulk and as a tourist you can get a substantially higher discount so after all of that in fact i think they even added another five or eight percent discount because i was buying electronics after all those discounts I got it down to around about a thousand dollars versus the almost two thousand dollars sing that you sort of see here now this watch is a great watch like i've i've seen it a number of times in japan and i kept saying to myself i want to go grab one i think it's a really really nice looking watch and i just i was always concerned about the the cost but at that point where the discounts were so significant i kind of went hey you know what let's go ahead and actually purchase it let's give it a go it is a very unique watch. It looks heavier than it actually is. I mean, this is a fairly chunky watch. If I put it on uh, in terms of size, let's just see. Like, that's a significant size watch. Uh, it's kind of Mudmaster size. The Mudmans are quite big as well. Even the, the newer ones are a little bit smaller, but it's that same sort of size as a Mudman. But this watch is made from carbon and so it's incredibly light um i don't know if all the frogmans are like this and i think this one is the unique one in that it's only carbon so if we go down and have a look the the older model here frogman and you know coming down it's a fairly hefty kind of watch right so if we come down here to the basic information uh, we have look here the weight is 145 grams for this frogman now if we go back and have a look at this particular one which is the one we're just uh, showcasing here uh, if we come down basic information 140 grams so maybe five grams difference but for the size of the watch it is a really uh, light watch and there's a couple of things which I really love. I think the colors are really, really nice in this one. It's kind of understated, but has the flair when you need it. Um, it's got great loom. I'm probably not going to be able to show you the loom on this one, but there's certainly other videos that have shown off the uh, the loom, and it looks great. The handles light up nice and blue, and there's green on the outside. Um, but spectacular watch. So let's go and have a closer look with the uh, with the overhead cam so you can see what's there and check out some of the uh, the features some of these features obviously i don't use too much i mean this is a dive watch after all um it has the ability to track dives and time and and on surface time 
I don't use it for that. I just think it's a great looking watch. And my biggest use case is really around uh, switching between time zones as I travel. Anyway, enough about that. Let me show you the watch. Okay, so let's get started. This is the watch. This is the Master of GC. It's a Frogman GWF A1000XC1A. And it's a very, very pretty watch. Uh, all carbon, uh, very black, very uh, uh, nicely highlighted with the orange. I'm gonna try and actually show you some of the features. It's not necessarily a review. I just want to show you some of the things that it can go ahead and actually do. Um, and funny enough, I should write down exactly the list of what I'm going to show you because I don't and I keep getting tricked up with some of these different features. But it has some cool uh, capabilities, which I'm hopefully going to show you. Um, I'll show you the dive mode. I'm not a diver. I used to be, but uh, I stopped diving a while ago. Um, but I'll show you that, uh, that dive capability. And then some of the features I go ahead and actually use as well uh, for travel because I travel a lot. So um, some of the things you can actually do with this watch, obviously the first one, as you can imagine, there's three different complications on this watch and sometimes you want to be able to read them. So you can do things like hold down the A button, big press, wobbly finger. Uh, by pressing down A, it moves the uh, the hands to a position where you can see the complications. You can press A to take them back to where they were before, or if you hold it down and leave it there for 10 seconds, what will happen is it'll let you read. You don't have to press anything, but after 10 seconds, it'll go back to, uh, to where it was before automatically. So it just gives you that capability to clearly see what's on the actual watch itself. We've got the lights down here at the top here. So button B, this is button A, we've got C and D. So if we wanted to be able to start to cycle through modes, um, obviously with, uh, with C, we can go to tide graph mode. Um, if I go down, let me cheat a little bit here. So uh, by pressing that, we'll get down to some of the modes. There's stopwatch. Uh, I think this is the timer mode. Uh, that might be alarm mode, or well, that's alarm mode. And uh, the first one should really be tide graph mode. So it's probably uh, tide graph mode there. Um, but anyway, that's how you go ahead and actually uh, cycle through the different modes here. So stopwatch, timer, um, and alarm, and all those different things there. So we're back to normal uh, at this point. Now, for our uh, dive mode, what we want to be able to do is to switch that and to, uh, to, enter to enter the dive mode, we hold down C for two seconds. And then what this should do, it'll flip everything up here to the top. The time goes down here and now we're in dive mode. So this gives us the ability to start tracking the time that we spend under the water. So uh, it doesn't track your depth measurements, although the log might go ahead and actually, I think there's actually a, a, a pressure sensor in here to track the dive, um, but we want to track the timing here. So what I can go ahead and actually do is if I'm going into the dive, I need to press D to start the measurement. So I'll click D and you can see the second starts to click down. And so this is obviously the seconds as we are going ahead and, uh, and diving. And so as it goes around, uh, the minute hands and the hour hands will start to move together as, uh, as well. So that's all kind of cool. Uh, if we want to stop the dive measurement, then what we'll do is we'll hold down D and then you see now it's gone back up and starts to go in a counterclockwise direction. Now what this is, is surface interval measurement. So we've measured the dive time, which goes clockwise, and then how much time we spent on the surface goes backwards. So you're able to sort of see how much time you're actually there for. And so that's going through and then showing you what your surface time actually is. So now to exit out, all we need to do to go back to calendar mode, which is the normal time, is hold down the C again and 
let's try it again. Oh, sorry. Hold down C. There we go. I've got to remember my C's and D's. C's on this side. So A, C, uh, A, B, C, and D. Or A. Confusing sometimes. But there we go. We're back into, into time again. So... Um, this is really how you'd go ahead and actually use that. And now there is the log function, um, and I'm going to go over to the uh, the phone here. So I'll come down here, and there is a uh, a capability here for tide points, world time. Um, I'm not sure what a dive function actually is. Maybe it doesn't have a dive function. I thought it actually did, um, but oh, diving log. So you can record the time and it will go ahead and be saved on your page. So uh, I don't use that, so I haven't really necessarily got into it, but I guess it's a kind of cool feature. One of the things that I do like to use a lot is obviously world time. And world time gives me the ability to be able to specify a different time zone. And so what you can see here, if I go back to there, that bottom left-hand complication is showing me the time over here, which is... I think that's what it's showing me there. Uh, it should be showing me the, the time, which is actually the world time right now. Now, I don't think it is. I've probably messed some of the settings actually up here. But let's say, for example, I was flying to Paris, right? So I set this time to my uh, my watch. It's oh yeah, 8.40, so the time that's there. Let me go back. The time there is showing about 8.40. So that's, that's pretty much spot on. Uh, that's the time there. Now I want to switch the time from this one to the main time. So if I go ahead and actually land, I want this time to be that one. So I can hold down the loom button and that will go ahead and actually switch the time zone. So my Singapore time will go to the bottom time and then the Paris time will go to the top again. So it's easy for me to switch between the different, uh, different functions there as well, the different time zones. Uh, as I travel. So something I set up before I actually travel and then uh, go ahead and, and use it. So, you know, really, really nice watch. As I said, super light, uh, very, very capable, very easy to go ahead and actually read from a time point of view. It doesn't have a digital display, which some people may not like, um, but I do like the full analog look of this particular watch. Cool watch, very nice to, uh, to wear sits nicely on the actual arm itself. Uh, I think it's a, uh, a pretty cool purchase. So there you have it folks, the, uh, the GWF A1000XC1A. Big name, but the beautiful Carbon Frogman. It is really uh, a fantastic watch and one which I'm very, very proud to have in the collection. One that I kept seeing for multiple times. Love the look of the watch finally made the jump and purchased it and have not regretted it. It's a very comfortable watch. It doesn't feel overwhelming from a weight point of view. And from a looks point of view, it is incredibly striking. Sure, I will never use the dive capabilities, um, but just some of those uh, simplicity of life things, the time zone switching, uh, stopwatch, all those different things, I, it's great. It's a really, really great watch and I, I highly recommend it. If you're in the market for a very nice looking G-Shock uh, that is understated, not overbearing in terms of colors, but still has just that little bit of flair, I can highly recommend this particular G-Shock. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video enjoyable. Please like and subscribe, help us build out the channel. And thank you so much if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate your company. Thanks.